Prince Harry, have the royals forgiven him, but not Meghan Markle? It's no secret that there's been quite a bit of strife within the royal family in recent months. Tensions have been bubbling for several years, but the situation really boiled over in the wake of Meghan Markle's Oprah interview. While the royals were still reeling from Meghan's remarks, Prince Philip passed away at the age of 99. The situation created a new kind of unease as royal watchers feared that the family feuds would overshadow the passing of Queen Elizabeth's husband of 73 years. But to the surprise of many, the funeral went off without a hitch. And it now looks as though some of Philip's offspring may have taken the opportunity to bury the royal hatchet while they were assembled for the memorial. Insiders say Prince William and Prince Harry are back on speaking terms for the first time in over a year. Early reports indicate that William's wife, Kate Middleton, brokered a peace deal between the princes that could eventually help to restore relations between the Cambridges, William and Kate, and the Sussexes, Harry and Meghan. Unfortunately, a key piece of the puzzle remains missing, as Meghan was unable to attend the funeral. Meghan is pregnant with her second child, and she was advised by her doctors not to make the trip to the UK. So while royalists who are eager to see the Windsor clan reunited are launching their premature celebrations, the fact remains that there can be no lasting peace among the royals unless Meghan signs off on it. A new report from the Daily Beast indicates that those inside the royal inner circle are well aware that Meghan's opinion will play a major role in Harry's willingness to continue building bridges with his family. The outlet reports that throughout the week's ceremonies Kate was taking charge and was not going to allow another visual debacle. Insiders say Harry, William and Prince Charles spent hours locked in conversation in the Queen's private apartments and while we have no way of knowing what they talked about, the gathering is an obvious sign of progress. Or is it? Royal correspondent Duncan Larkham says the royals might have succeeded in creating the illusion of a truce, but actual peace is still a long way off. The idea that it was choreographed is 100% spot on. Harry and William will both have known that all eyes were upon them and every gesture that they might have given to each other was going to be of huge interest because of what it would signify. Larkham told the Daily Beast, I have covered enough royal events to know that we don't get fed anything that they don't absolutely want to signal to us. That may sound like a pessimistic take, but Larkham says the choreography might be a reason for hope. That said, the fact that they actively wanted to be pictured together is a very encouraging sign. I thought it was very interesting to see Kate's role as well he said. Let's not forget that it wasn't that many weeks ago that Harry's wife accused Kate of being a liar, he continued. Kate's involvement tells us that there's still a relationship there between Kate and Harry, who once described her the as the sister he never had. So while Harry and William seem eager to make peace that might not be enough, Meghan and Kate would still need to settle their differences in order for the family to truly know peace. And as the Oprah interview reminded us, Megan still has ample reason to feel angry.